So this clever thing, right? We are so worried about how clever we are, how clever our friends and colleagues are, how clever our kids would turn out to be. This cleverness thing. School exams always gave us you know, anxieties. Teachers and parents always pressured us that if we didn't do well in school, we would fail in life in general. This cleverness thing, right? Well, for this talk, I conducted a survey of more than 1,000 people, and 14.8% of people have said, oh, they have anxiety about emotion. This is understanding. This, this is understandable, because emotion is a very important element in communication, so people naturally get anxious about emotion. A significantly larger proportion of people said they get anxious about intelligence. You know, we have this inferiority complex about intelligence. Even I have inferiority complex <laughs> about intelligence. <laughs> Interestingly, a staggering 51.2% of people have said that they have anxiety about intelligence when facing artificial intelligence. This is understandable because, you know, we hear that clever chaps are developing artificial intelligence systems, and reportedly, they would soon reach singularity in which they will catch up with our intelligence and supersede us, right? Now, uh, among humans, there's wide spectrum of intelligence. Suppose there was a village idiot of an IQ score of 60 and Albert Einstein of an IQ score of 180. We say this is a huge difference. And we were always worried where in this spectrum we would be, this cleverness thing. However, now people are developing artificial intelligence, right? And they would surplus human intelligence in singularity. When that happens, well, suppose we had an artificial intelligence system of an IQ score of 4,000. <laughs> Compared to that monster, the difference between the village idiot and Albert Einstein would reduce to nothing. <laughs> right? So we humans, yeah, <laughs> thank you. You understand my point. So we humans, would be, as a species, be dwarfed, humiliated by artificial intelligence. This is bound to happen. Now, uh, the neurotypical individuals, not the normal people, have a rather well-developed capacity for emotion, because emotion is something very important in communication. However, many cognitive science experiments have shown that humans fail in logical thinking tasks, sometimes very spectacularly, right? We are not so good at logical thinking. There are other kinds of humans, the so-called autistic savants. They are, very, actually, they are very good at logical thinking, but not so well versed in emotion. So they have sometimes problems with communication. So we need to help these very uniquely talented people. Now, artificial intelligence systems are kind of super savants. They are designed, designed to pursue logical thinking rigorously and persistently. Actually, they can conduct logical thinking for hundreds and hundreds of hours on end without ever getting tired or making complaints, right? So artificial intelligence systems are like that. So if you look back on the way human brains have evolved, it has followed a trajectory that tried to strike a balance between emotion and logic, and probably with a little emphasis on emotion. Artificial intelligence systems, on the other hand, have pursued the logical step, right? I mean, they have been designed and performing logical thinking steps very rigorously. So the so-called singularity would happen somewhere in the extension of this uh, tendency. Now, um, so we have this unbearable narrowness of artificial intelligence. AI excels by being narrow, which is in itself a good thing, by the way, because that's their job description, right? That's what they're designed to do. But the question is, would humans be able to remain biologically robust in the era of artificial intelligence? That's a million dollars question in everybody's mind today. Now, people like Gardner have talked about multiple intelligences. This is the idea that, that there are actually several elements to intelligence. 
so that even if artificial intelligence systems might surpass us in some aspects of multiple in intelligences, we might still keep an edge over some other elements of uh, multiple intelligences. This would be a relief. However, on the other hand, there are people who say that we can actually develop artificial general intelligence, which would cover the whole spectrum of intelligence. If there would be a machine that have developed artificial general intelligence, then the story is over. We would be superseded by the machines in every possible aspect of intelligence. So the question again is, would humans be able to remain biologically robust when singularity happens? Well, my answer to you tonight is yes. But how? Relax. <laughs> and enjoy emotion. Because, you know, the question is, you know, can we keep uh, emotional versatility in the face of artificial intelligence? This is the key question. I repeat, in terms of intelligence, we are going to be superseded. There's no avoiding it. But emotion, come on, we can <laughs> beat these guys. You know, uh, but I have my worries because people have misplaced anxieties. My survey found that 45%, almost half of people, said they have anxiety about emotion when facing artificial intelligence. We don't have to be anxious about emotion. We are so good at it, you know. So, not so fast, guys, not so fast. You know, we need to relax in the face of artificial intelligence, right? Because after all, emotional robustness is what we are good at. We use it, use it every day in a mundane communications, and here, humans are manifestly better than artificial intelligence. I repeat, artificial intelligence systems are not designed to excel in emotions. So, and the good news is, here's the good news, right? The load of intelligence is being transferred from us humans to artificial intelligence, like this. <laughs> so that humans can unleash even more capacity for emotion. Emotion is our greatest strength. Anxiety kills emotion, right? So artificial intelligence should make us less anxious, not more. In fact, in fact, with the advent of artificial intelligence, we would finally be able to say goodbye to this cleverness thing. So relax. Thank you very much.